Hello guys, this is also Gamer July here. So today I'm going to be doing Weeds vs. Gogeta. The reason why I'm doing this is because in one of my previous videos, I think I said Weeds is the strongest in the game. And I'm going to be backing this up because I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. You do have Gogeta, but Weeds, on the other hand, can put up a really good ass fight. Alright, so if I want to compare their stats... As you can see, this is a level 100 Weiss. I actually have my level 100 Gogeta, which, if you guys don't know, is my prize possession. I got it 100% fair and square, and that's why I love it so much. Um, you can actually see Weiss right here, and you can see all of his stats, and his speed is literally the fastest in the game. And he could solo a whole ass god team without even trying. Like, he could be the Super Saiyan Blue Goku, he could be a Super Saiyan Blue Vegeta, any any one of the gods with basically no problem. He could beat Shenron and basically like one or two shot him with no problem. So if I were to compare their stats, Super Saiyan 4 Gogeta's and Whis's, um Whis has 280 attack, but Gogeta has 293. But obviously Whis has more defense. He has 302 and Gogeta only has 272. Special attack, Whis has 327. Because Gogeta has 291, and in special defense, Gogeta only has 266, while Whis has 323, and the speed obviously is a way it's it's it's, it's phenomenal. Like Whis has 339, and Gogeta has 278. All right, so keep this in mind, and he also has Patar earrings. So basically, when I use the the Big Bang Kamamaha, even though there is like an attack difference and he has higher attack and well he doesn't have higher special attack but he has higher attack it will boost that up so it will at least put it somewhat on the level of Whis so he also has blades as well as those Patar earrings so just think about how much damage he can output that's why I'm saying like even though his, his stats are a little bit lower than Whis's are because of that and he also has power burst too so just because of how much potential power he can put out that's why he's so dangerous that's why i'm telling you like he can do just as much damage as we and more because of those three those three factors of how powerful those moves are now, Whis is obviously going to go first, and there's a potential chance that he could actually one-shot him. Now, the reason why I like Whis is because not only is he, you know, he he's the fastest person in the game, he can deal power. As you can see, he, he has three other moves that can actually support. So, let me go to those real quick. Just show you, the, show you real quick before I actually start the match. So, you have Miracle, which can heal all status problems of any allies. You have this, which prevents the foe from basically you know evading the attack and this can also heal you as well as other teammates and ordeal is an attack that does 200 well it has 200 power and it never misses so let's go right now to ordeal and let's use big bang kamameha and see what happens now obviously Whis is going to go first and i think the main reason why Whis always wins is because he goes first i mean he can take attacks too very very well but it's the main part that he just goes first on every attack is why he can do so much. Now look at that. He almost one shot at Gogeta. And I'm pretty sure if, if I would have got a critical, it would have been done. Or if it was just like another time, it would have been done. Because sometimes the attacks do more at different times. But let's see how much Big Bang Kamamaha does without power burst. Hmm. That's pretty fucking good. But I want you to keep in mind, this this has to be expected. Now, as you can see, Gogeta actually has 69. Don't make any fucking jokes about it. But he has 69 HP and Whis has 107. So, you can see the attack difference. But like I said, that really doesn't... It doesn't play too much. Because cause I'm pretty sure if Gogeta Blaze would have activated or if I would have used Power Burst, this wouldn't even be a match. But... Whis is stronger than Gogeta, obviously, but not by that much. But if you were to use Power Burst or that the Blaze ability would activate, plus if you had the Patara earrings, it's going to do more damage. But I'm pretty sure if I were to take the Patara earrings off, it's a potential chance that Gogeta wouldn't even do this much damage. Because originally, I didn't even have the Patara earrings on him. 
So if I were to take the Patara earrings off, he probably, we would probably have maybe 200 HP left or close to it. So he wouldn't even have done as much damage as he did without them Patara earrings, plus his ability, plus the fact that Big Bang Kamamaha has 250 power. So just keep that in mind. And Weiss's ordeal only has 200. And just imagine if it had 250, he would one shot everything in sight with no problem. But as you can see, Ordeal's gonna work. And he's gonna get fucking destroyed. So if I'm being completely honest with you, if you were to give Gogeta an item that could make him attack first, he could potentially win. But then again, even if he does attack first, he would have to get a good ass critical and one shot Whis. Otherwise, Whis would be faster all the other turns and he would just, you know, just be able to destroy him. So it wouldn't even matter. So that's the battle between Whis and Gogeta. So I've compared their stats and if, if I have to ask which one is better, it would be Whis because Whis is the fastest in the game. Plus, he can deal a whole lot of damage. And as you can see, they're both level 100. Whis has no type of buff on him or anything that boosts his attacks and he already does more damage than Gogeta. I'm not sure if the ability boosted it or not, but the Batara earrings guaranteed boosted. So basically, without any buffs, he did more damage. And Vegeta with technically one buff, which is the Batara earrings, was able to do almost as much damage, but not as much. And I'm assuming the blaze has something to do with it, but even if it didn't, he still had to use a buff in order to do that much damage. And just imagine if I were to buff, you know, Whis a little bit. Yeah, he would do he would do a lot more damage. But there's no need to buff Whis because he's the strongest in the game, like I said. But I hope you guys enjoyed this Minosa Gamer Jill on here. Have a great day.